this Internet of Things. Internet of Things is the future of us. Not only computers and smartphones that can connect to the Internet, but like other things, like random things, like a flower pot which has a visual flower, and it can measure when it doesn't have enough water in it, so you know when to pour the water in it. Or there's so many street lights in our city and in the country th that every single one could be a smart light. Like you can put it to measure temperature, humidity, you can measure atmospheric pressure and pollution and it can measure it everywhere and then people will know how much it polluted. So it's a really cool concept of the future and I hope this will be a new future. So let's get started in showing you what is the kit all about. Right before I open it, the Internet of Things kit is specially made for microbit. So let's see the parts inside. Voila! The main part is this part. It's the it's a it's a network connector where you put the micro bit here. So micro bit will sit like this, and when you put the micro bit inside, then it would connect to internet. So this is the main part which makes all of these work. The first part we're looking at is the light sensor. It's this guy. No, this guy. It's this guy. It's a regular light light sensor, but it works perfectly fine. Then there's the noise sensor. This guy it detects noises and can uh, detect noises even in the quiet quiet place, even in a quiet place. And there's an audio display, which is this kind of modern looking thing. Microbit has. 5x5 five five LEDs so this is much better it looks smaller but it's much better and it can show a lot more on this little monitor or on display this is a water level sensor and it sensors how much water is in like a cup is it full is it half or is it nothing and then this guy is a moisture sensor and it senses how much moisture is in something which uh, is connected to the flower, flower pot. So these three, are, this is a motor that puts the water in inside. So this guy sends a signal to this guy and he senses how much water is in the flower pot. And then if it is not enough, then this guy pours the water inside and makes it moisture again and has more water. That's a really cool complex and I, I believe I'm going to be doing that one day. This is a sonar bit. It, I believe you caught an eye on this guy. It's like a little smiley face and he is you he reacts like a bat and uh, emits uh, ultrasound so you can detect if there's a wall in front of him or if there isn't a wall in front of him then after that we have a BME 280 it can measure atmospheric pressure it's this guy atmospheric pressure temperature and humidity it has three options and it's that that's really cool then there's a PS sensor a PS sensor is to detect a human body in fair so it can detect red infrared light and the last one which is one of the bigger ones is a dust sensor and the dust sensor can detect current air quality what i'll be using and doing in this video i will be using these two the bme 280 which can um, detect and measure atmospheric pressure temperature and humidity and a dust sensor that measures the pollution and with all of this i will grab micro bit and put it in here to uh, connect it uh, to the internet from my smartphone from you guys <laughs> and i will be using this power bank to power the whole thing
if everything goes right it will send every 60 seconds on this side things speak the the results of w uh, what i've measured the humidity the atmospheric pressure and other things and also this light lamp can warn me uh, on twitter if if the if the country and the, ci uh, the city is too polluted now this is not too polluted it is fine so they can warn me on Twitter if it's too close to not go out. And it's a really cool site. And yeah. First step. Put the mic bit in the pad. There we go. Second step. Place the auto display in the first section right here. Or the monitor. Whatever you want to call it. There we go. Nice and tight. You just need to connect these right in the spot. Like this, and now it's connected. Connect this right here. There you go. The next one. <laughs> now we need to download this program. There we go. Downloading. Finish downloading. Let's try it out. This check mark means that it's finding our internet or your internet guys on the smartphone so it needs uh, some time to find it waiting waiting wait oh there we go and it shows everything and the pressure is 1001 the temperature is 24 degrees not bad humidity is 31 Dust is zero. Oh, that's nice. Data sent to that thing. Thing speak. In this room, uh, the fields are here. There's four fields, and it measures exactly this room. The first field is for the pressure field, and it goes in between 1,000 and 1, 1,000 right here. And then there we have the temperature, which is usual 23 degrees. We have humidity is usually 31, 32, uh, 0 to 100, and then we got we have dust, which in the room is like oh, like 25 normally, and it measures micrograms per cubic meter. So the maximum was a little bit over 50 micrograms. Now we will be testing my mom's cigarettes, so we can test. How much the dust problem will jump up? Let's test it right here. Place the dust scanner right above and let the smoke go through the holes, which is here and here. It should measure differently. Is it just me? Uh, whoa, that's just 342. Oh my god. <laughs> that's so much. It's disgusting. Ew. Look at that. 
Now we will be trying to connect the power bank to the microbit so it goes mobile. There you go. And we connect it to the power bank and hopefully it works at the same. Waiting. There we go. Now we are going to be going to several places and the first place will be my school. Alright, let's try in and in school. I'll try to go out. Oh. So let's see. We need some measure. Hit a little bit. Come on, change. There we go. 2002, temperature 12. Uh, humidity uh, 40, dust is 31, not bad, and it's it's pretty good. There we go, it finally worked. It's not that bad. The next stop is going to be the park. We're now in the biggest park in our city. It has lots and lots of trees. Oh, there we go. That's in two. Temperature 15. Uh, the humidity 34. Dust 3. That's not correct, but okay. <laughs> That's a big chimney. And it's polluting the whole world. That's disgusting. Now, here is. It says it's 21, and it and it's. Oh, no. Oh, you gotta be kidding me! It said it was 21. <laughs> oh, it just changed to zero. This is a hard task, guys. We are right near a river. It's right above this ledge. Final destination. This is called Tower. Wow. <laughs> and we're gonna check here how polluted it is and what's what's the temperature and other things. Oh, it says thirty. That's much more better. That's thirty. Pressure 1001, temperature 18, humidity 30. Not bad. Finally, we're back. And here are the results, much different than before. So the pressure changed to 1002 maximum uh, to 1000 because at home was 1001 and 1000. Then the temperature it was uh, was rising in the car, but it was about 12 normally. And I checked on the application here, and it was correct. It was 12 here as well. Humidity, it was a little bit more. It's like 40 now. There, uh, but I hope it was 32. And the last field, uh, it, that's uh, it wasn't incorrect because the dust. Sensor is too sensitive. It needs more time to calibrate and and sense what uh, what's the dust because it needs more time. We were just out there for a minute or two or three, anyways. But it needs more time to calibrate, so that isn't kind of right. It isn't right because it needed more time. And that, that's all we have to show today. There will be a new part where we will probably be even doing the uh, the sonar. You remember the sonar, uh, uh, the sonar bit, the cute little guy. That's probably going to be the next video or something else. I'll see. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And if you're new to this channel, subscribe right now for new, new science thingies and videos. Uh, turn on those notifications. And yeah, I will see you in the next video.